December 1911, the Delhi Durbar. George V is honored as emperor. For the first time, color film records an imperial event outside Britain. The British have been in India for over 200 years. Special correspondent to the Times, Stanley Reed, witnesses the imperial splendor. 20,000 armed men with a striking array of guns. Next, the Imperial Service Troops. The Maharaja of Bikanir takes personal command of his Scarlet and White Camel Corps. Then, the great event of the day. The gallop past in line. They go by like the wind, not a man unhorsed, not even a helmet shed. Grace Molyneux watches her husband, Major Edward Molyneux, ride past with the 21st Lancers. We had splendid seats. It was far and away the best show we've seen yet. It was all done with great dignity. I think the natives must have been very impressed. But beneath this extravagant display of imperial loyalty, there lies a fragile Raj. British rule in India has been challenged by a decade of nationalist protest and terrorist violence. Viceroy Lord Harding remains resolute. I need hardly say that the government of India has never for a moment thought that the evolution of this country could be colonial self-government. The idea is ridiculous and absurd. One year later, a Bengali revolutionary tries to assassinate Lord Harding. He survives, but it is another warning that British power in India is fading. 